In this video we're going to look at creating issues in the BIMTree 60 model and then retrieving them in that same model within your Revit environment. So here we have a Revit model that's been work shared using BIM360 Design Collaboration. So if we just look at this in BIM360, so this is a work shared model. It resides in our work in progress area. So in our work in progress folder, only accessible by our team or, or by our design company, architectural or structural, whatever that happens to be. So that's the model I have open here, the, the work in progress model, just to reiterate that. And that is this 3D model here. And I also have the issues plugin installed. This is available from your Autodesk desktop app if you have it installed down the bottom right or you can get it from the Autodesk app store as well. So this is an Autodesk produced plugin and it allows you to retrieve your issues, pulling them from BIM360 and pushing them inside Revit. So what I'm going to do here is go into BIM360. So I'm going to create an issue within my 3D model. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to generate the issue within the shared folder. So just to keep in mind, our architectural model inside Revit is actually the version in our WIP area, so only accessible by us. But what if another consultant actually creates an issue on a model in the shared area because they don't have access to our WIP area or they shouldn't have access to our WIP area. So I'm going to go into the architectural folder in the shared area and this is a model that has actually been copied through an approval workflow being copied from the WIP area and then published into the shared area. So let's say I'm another designer or from another design company. I want to come into this 3D model in the shared area. Go into my 3D model, so this is my 3D view here. I'm going to create an issue. I'm just going to create issue. And what I'm going to do is just place an issue on my roof and I'm just going to call it show zinc seams on roof. So we're going to assume this is a seamed uh, zinc profile roof that's, that's been created on this building and either the client or another designer has come in and they want to add an issue. So they don't want, then want to assign this to the architect. So let's say it's the client is assigning this and requesting this as part of the model. The owner is, is my particular name but I, I can change the name to somebody else as well. So I'm just going to create an issue on that. Hit create. So keep in mind that this was created in my shared area of a model that was copied from the WIP area. So I'm going to go back into my Revit model. This is the Revit model now that sits in the WIP folder. I'm just going to go to load issues and it will in fact give me an option to load in the issues from the particular area. So I can load in issues that are applied to the WIP model, but I actually want to load in the issues that are applied to the shared model, even though I have the WIP model opened here. So I'm just going to open this I'm going to pull in those issues and there's that issue I just created. If I click on that, it will highlight the roof and show me the actual issue that's been created. The title of it shows zinc seams on the roof, fairly self-explanatory. There are no attachments, but somebody could have attached attachments if they wish. But I can also add activity into this as well. So I could then maybe tag the, for example, I might tag the structural engineer. Do we have approval? Same roof, I can tag the structural engineer, send. They will now receive an email, a notification, and an email. And inside BIM360, then they will then be able to see the activity within that. So they can log in here, and the structural engineer will have been tagged. Do we have approval for the same roof? They can then respond in here if they want, or it can be a phone call or an email, and then that issue can then be addressed within here. 